So you've heard about Solana, you've heard about crypto, now it's time to get your own wallet on your mobile phone. We're gonna be grabbing the Soulflare wallet on our Android device, but the same would apply to Apple. So let's get started. The first part, go to the Play Store and let's go and search. We wanna search for Soulflare and this one right here, Soulflare Solana wallet, 4.8 star review, 24,000 reviews and over a million downloads. Click install. Now let's open. And at this stage, most people are going to be creating a new wallet. So let's go and create a new wallet. Next part's very important. We're gonna be generating a recovery secret phrase. As the prompts say, you must write it down. You must keep it super, super safe. And you never ever share the recovery phrase with anybody. If anybody has access to this recovery phrase, they will be able to take your crypto. So let's tap continue and now tap show. This is my recovery phrase here. Sometimes people decide to copy it and put it into a secure password manager such as 1Password or they write it down, but either way, triple check it. However, please don't take a photo of it or a screenshot, or put it on Gmail or put it on iCloud. You wanna keep this nice and safe. When you're ready, tap continue. And now we have to confirm the ninth word in the recovery phrase. For me, it's message and just one more, the sixth word. So this is enroll and now we can tap continue. It's very important that you realize that secret recovery phrase that I showed you, that is my secret recovery phrase. This is a tutorial wallet, I'm setting this up and then I'm just going to change the secret recovery phrase. So never ever use that phrase ever. Make sure you generate your own and as I said before, keep it safe. Now we need a six digit pin. Go for something secure. Don't do one, two, three, four, five, six. Go for something that only you would remember. Because this is just a tutorial, I'm just gonna go like this. Then enable biometrics, enable and fingerprint, and then turn on notifications. Tap this on, go back, and we're good to go. You don't have to turn it on, but this way you'll know when you receive crypto. Now the next stage is, I wanna receive some crypto into this wallet. So I'm gonna tap on receive, and this is my address. What I can do from here is take this address and go to Binance or Bybit, or whatever my preferred centralized exchange is, and I can send Solana to this wallet address. If you have another mobile phone, you may wanna send it like this, or maybe your friend does. All they need to do is just go and scan the QR code. They can scan the QR code, and as an example, I can send 0.2 Sol from this wallet to this new wallet. It's just been sent from this Sol flare, and now if we go back, refresh the wallet, we can see 0.2 Sol. Now we can receive other Solana tokens as well. As an example, let's receive some Bonk. I'm sending 1 million bonk. This will be coming through in a second. Let's give it a refresh. 1 million bonk right there. Now that we've got these two assets, let's go through the wallet just a little bit. So looking at the wallet, we have Solana, we've got bonk. We can see here the top one, Solana. We have 0.2 Solana. That's worth currently $26.67. And the cost of one soul, which is over here on the left, is $133.39. You can see it says minus 2.56%. That means in the last 24 hours, it's gone down that amount. Underneath that, we've got bonk. It says 0.04212. It's gone up 1.5%. We've got 1 million bonk, as we can see over on the right-hand side, and it's $21.23. If we tap on bonk, we can see a whole host of information, starting at the top. So it says 0.0, .0 and then there's a small 4 to 1. That means there are four zeros. So for this to go to like one cent would be quite a move up. Then what we have here is a chart. So we can toggle along and we can see the different prices. It also shows you the time. It's currently on one day, but we can go one week and it'll load the chart data and we can see one week. We can come back here, tap at different times and we can see as an example, Sunday, 12 o'clock, that was the token price. We can also go back one month in one month, it's down 36%. We can tap one year. In one year, it's up considerably. And we can tap this peak here and see that was more than double the current price at the peak. Then we've got down here, the market cap is the total supply of the tokens times the actual price. The volume, how many people have been buying and selling this token in the last 24 hours, and the amount of liquidity. When you see a token with a lot of liquidity, like millions or even tens of millions of dollars, this is a very good thing. We can scroll on down further. We can see we received the bonk. And down below, we've got different links that go to the project's Twitter, homepage, and Discord. If we want, we can actually buy crypto directly in the app just by tapping buy. I mentioned Binance and Bybit as one of the first steps you'd use to take crypto into the app. But if you're really new to crypto, just use buy. One crypto, tap continue, and this will take you to onramper.com. You can go and buy some Solana here, do your know your customer steps where you provide ID, provide your debit card, etc., and then you can get some crypto. The next button is swap. Swaps are powered by Jupiter. 
and Jupiter, in my opinion, is probably the coolest DeFi dApp there is. And by using the swap, in the future, you may be eligible for the Jupe airdrop. Let's tap continue, and now we can buy a different token. So as an example, maybe I wanna get a small amount of USDC. If you use the in-app swap, which I personally do due to the convenience, there is an extra charge by Soulflare. If we tap on the buy, there's a 0.8% fee in addition to the swap. But this is all factored in, so I'm gonna tap on swap, and then down the bottom, just slide to approve. Then tap close. Back to our wallet, the left button, and we can see we've got some USDC down here. There's another button here, stake. Staking Solana is easy, but I've got other tutorials on this. And then we've got send. So if I wanna send some crypto to another wallet, I can use this function. I can send the crypto to Binance or Bybit or to a friend or whatever I want to. This is very easy. First, you need to enable camera access, go to your permissions, camera, allow only while using the app, then go back, go back, go back, and then just scan your QR code. Now, it doesn't matter if you're new to crypto or not, please actually double check the characters. We wanna make sure that everything is completely matching perfectly. This is correct. So now we tap on it and then we type in the amount we want to send. So I'm just gonna send a very small amount, 0.01 sol, continue, and then slide at the bottom. Just like that, it's sent. And if we want to, we can tap save address and we can name this address. So for me, this is my main tutorial. So I'll save it like that. In the future, if I wanna send something to that address, I can just tap on the crypto, then send. I can paste in the address, use the QR scanner, or just look at my address book and just tap tutorial main. Let's come on down to the bottom to manage assets. If we don't wanna see an asset in our drawer, we can just tap it off like that. Or if we do wanna see an asset, as an example, let's have a look here. In fact, let's type in dupe, J-U-P, there's dupe, tap add, because we don't have any dupe in this wallet, we need to actually spend a little bit of soul. So we'll slide to approve it. This will put through a transaction that creates the token account. This is normal and it's done once for each token. In the future, if you don't use that token, we can always reclaim that soul. Close and here we can see dupe. Of course, if we don't wanna see it because there's a zero balance, we can toggle it off and we can toggle back on USDC if we want to, and we can see all of our assets like that. Next down the bottom, we've got four little squares. This is where our NFTs are kept. We have one NFT in here. It says unverified. If I tap on it, it tells us that unverified collectibles often unsafe. So they could be scam or spam NFTs. And if we're sure, we can go and burn them. Let's tap continue. And we can see we've got three different NFTs. I hate for this to be your first introduction to crypto. And within a few minutes, you've already been sent some scam NFTs. But unfortunately, this sort of thing happens. In my opinion, there's way too many amazing things in crypto for anyone to not want to get involved. All it takes is a little bit of education to navigate these scam NFTs. The important thing to know is you can tap on them to see the picture, but never ever go to the website. These websites will try to convince you to put in your secret recovery phrase. So under no circumstance will you ever share that secret recovery phrase, not with me, not with anybody. When you know it's a scam, just tap burn. And if you're absolutely sure, toggle this on and tap continue and then slide to approve and we are burning. So in other words, we are deleting this token from our wallet. Now we just have two more scam ones, which we can quickly burn as well. That one's being burnt, and this one will burn this one because I know this is unfortunately also a scam. Close, refresh. Now we've deleted all of the collectibles. So in the future, we can receive some real collectibles. I will cover that in another tutorial. The middle tab here is a swap menu where we can do swaps. The next tab over here is a browser. So we can use this browser to go and buy an NFT, magiceden.io. We can go to this website. We can connect our wallet, Soulflare, connect, connect, click to sign, slide to approve, and we can go NFT shopping and we'll do that in a different tutorial. Now this is actually a full web browser, so you can go wherever you want. But once again, we'll cover more of this in another tutorial. The next tab we have is the settings. First, let's go to general. This is where we can change our language. Maybe you speak Spanish and then changes everything into Spanish. You can also change your theme such as ultraviolet and your currency as well. In general, crypto markets, they normally just use US dollars. But if you wanna know euros or Australian dollars or whatever, just toggle it on and it'll give you the value in euros for your crypto tokens. The last bit, network, the vast majority of the time, like almost always, you'll only be on mainnet. So for now, we don't need to worry about testnet or devnet. Next on the list, we have address book. Here we can add our addresses, of course, addresses that we use regularly, then notifications, 
enable notifications here. We can toggle on everything. That way we'll get a pop-up when something happens with our wallet. And then security and privacy. There's a few things here. Have a look through, it's pretty easy to understand. Just a super important thing is keep your secret recovery phrase super safe and make sure you know where it is and that you know that it's completely correct because you don't want to tap log out. If you tap log out, then it'll remove all the wallets from your app. The wallet still exists on the blockchain, but you just need the secret recovery phrase to re-add them to your Soulflare wallet. And the last tab is support. If you have any questions, just start chat, send Soulflare a message, and they'll help you out. Make sure you only contact support through the app or at soulflare.com. Never ever anywhere else. That's where, unfortunately, scammers lurk. Let's go back to the home screen now and let's quickly touch on wallet management. If we tap on the hamburger menu, top left, we can go and add another wallet. Tap on edit and then tap add wallet. There's a couple of different options here, but we're just gonna go with add wallet for now. And this is gonna be our second wallet. We may use this one for NFTs. Sometimes people like myself have different wallet addresses for different things. So we'll add, and if we want to, we can send NFTs into this wallet here. We're gonna add another wallet as well. We're going to add one for meme coins. A lot of people love meme coins and you're likely the same. So we'll add, and now we have a wallet that says meme coins. If we go to the hamburger menu again and go to our main wallet, I'm gonna tap on bonk and I'm gonna send this into my meme coin wallet by tapping on it. I'm gonna send all of it, max, continue, and then slide to approve. A second later, that's been sent. We'll close that, we'll go back, and now we've got no bonk in this wallet and in meme coins, we've got some bonk. Now this next bit of advice, it doesn't relate specifically to Soulflare wallet, it relates to the entire Solana blockchain, and that is you need Solana in a wallet in order to be able to move or interact with your crypto tokens. So here we have some bonk. If we went to the swap menu, maybe we wanted to swap some bonk into some USDC. We have zero soul, so we do not have enough soul to actually make the swap happen. As it says here, make sure you have at least 0.005 soul in your wallet to cover network fees. Personally, I like to have a little bit more whenever possible. Now let's cover a couple of things that are a little bit more advanced. We'll go back to the hamburger menu and then we'll tap edit. And then I'm gonna tap on the three vertical dots for meme coins. And this gives us a few different options. We can rename the wallet, we can copy the address, we can export the recovery phrase, or we can export a private key. This is quite a bit to take in in just one video, but a secret recovery phrase allows you access to all of these different wallets. It's one secret recovery phrase and it's able to generate multiple wallets, whereas a single private key can only access just the one individual wallet. So if we export private key, tap show, authenticate our data, this is our private key. We could then copy this, Maybe we put it into one password or a password manager, and then we may want to use that on another computer or another phone. Alternatively, we can tap on the three dots, export phrase, show, fingerprint, and we can see our recovery phrase right here. Of course, we're never gonna need this because we're writing it down, we're triple checking it, and we're storing it somewhere very, very safe but it's always an option for you as well. So that's it. That's some of the basics on how you get set up. There's a lot more to cover when it comes to your mobile wallet. So I'll create regular tutorials so you know what you're doing. This tutorial was just to get you started. If it feels like there's quite a bit to learn, there is, but don't worry, I'll explain it nice and simple. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next tutorial.